slot if your baby is not that big yet hey guys how's it going Frey here back again with another video today i'm going to do a retake about this uh even flow 360 revolt so my previous post i'm just gonna post it uh in the description below so many are commenting that uh there is no lights when i shot the video so it's really hard to see uh, the details on how to adjust the crutch buckle, uh, how to take this out, and how to adjust the headrest going up. So right now, uh, I'm going to do another video. So my explanation with that video is that uh, many are commenting on my previous video, the installation of this. A lot of people are asking how to adjust the seat buckle, the crutch buckle. So I need to put that video out as fast as possible. So I wasn't thinking that uh, maybe people could not clearly see because uh, there's no light. But well, in fact, there was a light. I turned on the light, but it's just really dark. I don't know with uh, my camera here. So I had projected really uh, dark. So it's really hard to see. So right now I'm going to use the flash on this camera and let's see uh, by the way guys uh, you don't need to curse or anything uh, on my previous post uh, people are saying that uh, we're cursing that uh, such an uh, valuable information that I'm showing on this video but then uh, they could not see properly so right now I'm reshooting so that hopefully everybody could uh, see now so yeah let's get on to the video guys all right guys so yeah we have our seat the even flow 360 revolve here so we're just gonna go on with the basics so first off is we're gonna you see this uh, inserts here these are the default inserts when your baby is still very very small you could really make use of this but then when your baby grows out of it so how do we take this out okay so this one here on the seat is the easiest because you could just pull this off and there you go so you could adjust here there's three slots here to make room for the baby here and then how to take that one out at first i thought it was gonna pull this up so we also have one comment there how do we uh, adjust this headrest she was saying to she could not press it down well, in fact you just need to pull it up and then you could adjust it so at first guys i thought you need to take this out here uh, in order to get this insert right here but then all you need to do is just release this strap here expose this one and there you can see the velcro here so you just take that off and you can just pull it out. So there you go. So after that, you just reverse the process and strap it back in. Okay, so after putting the strap there, let's go ahead and lower the headdress again. So in here, guys, how to adjust the seat belt here. Underneath, you just need to press this while holding that go ahead and pull this to here so when it's already maxed out you can no longer adjust this because uh, when this is all maxed out already all you need to do is when it's still too tight for your baby all you need to do is pull this one up pull the headrest and it will expose more belt here for your baby and then when you adjust that take into consideration that there's a gap here so there's a padding hidden underneath it all you need to do is just do like that so that uh, your baby won't hurt his back here so let's go ahead and put that back again over the headrest okay so the most awaited part here is how to adjust the crotch buckle or seat buckle so in order to do that uh, for example you're already here at the max the third slot so you can't go anywhere anymore and this is too tight for your baby already so what you need to do first is 
take out the cup holders and then it will expose you to this. Let's go ahead and pull this one out. Okay, so sorry, I need to use two hands. So as you can see, there's three slots here and by default, it's inserted in the uh, first slot. So let's go ahead and slide it in the second slot if your baby is not that big yet or let's go ahead and slide it again and slide it on the third slot right here after that you're just going to insert here okay so after inserting that it would probably look like this so you have much bigger space here now for your baby okay so last part how to take out the cup holders so in order to do that on your baby's left side you just rotate it counterclockwise then pull that's it then on the baby's right side you just uh, rotate it clockwise in order to get that one out okay so that's about it guys thank you for watching by the way guys if you have any more uh, comments or suggestions or any violent reactions <laughs> yeah just comment down below uh, anyways I'm giving this information to you out for free I'm not asking for even a dollar from you so please be polite and nice and asking uh, don't curse or anything I know there might be ads on this but it's less than a penny that I'm getting if you're it, that if if you're not skip, skipping the video then if you skip then I won't get anything so just be polite in asking next time if you have any more questions so okay that's it guys so once again this is Frey from tools and gadgets and see you again in our next vlog bye